I'm a typical country girl. I was born in the backfield of Poundland. Um, perhaps I am what I am today because of that childhood. Um, I loved my childhood. I loved the country in which I ran barefoot. I wore a shoe for the first time when I went to secondary school. Mm. I grew up like any other little country girl. My father was a teacher. He was the principal of the school in which I was. So he, he taught me history. Mm. Um, there were 11 of us. I come from a family of 11 children. I'm just one of those in the middle. There was nothing particular about me. My grandfather, my father's father, um, had 29 wives. He was a chief in our region. Um, so we grew up in a very large family. Um, I was heading cattle, sheep, and goats, like any other country girl. I grew up um, looking after cattle. I grew up milking cows, and uh, I loved my country. My father taught me history, um, and he always said, uh, the white man's version of history is this. And then he would tell us the actual history. For instance, uh, um, I recall when he used to teach us about the, what we have in our history is the nine cross wars. Um, wars that were fought by our forefathers. Frontier wars where they fought the white man whom they regarded as an intruder in this country. He would relish telling us these stories of our heroes. Uh, he would tell us about Nika, Tsikana, Makana. And uh, he is the one who taught, taught me that Dingan and Chaga were not barbarians, for instance. Those are the great Zulu chiefs who fought the white man. Uh, and he, in fact, addressed Chaka as General Chaka during our lessons. But uh, he would then tell us that when the inspector comes, we shouldn't uh, address them as generals. We should address them as they are addressed in the books. That is how I learned the history of my country. My father um, was in the old Transkei Territorial um, Council. There was something like that that administered um, the Transkei at the time. That was under the British, British rule. Um, and he used to go away from home for periods of six months sometimes. And when he came back, he came back with stories of our heroes and how they were fighting for their fatherland. That was the childhood I experienced. 